What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Shamara Canvas. Today is gonna be Sham's cooking show. <laughs> the first couple videos I did, I did Sham's cooking show, so I'm gonna just roll with that. But I'm gonna be making some Philly cheesesteak rolls. Actually got this idea from Instagram Reel. But um, it didn't come with like a full recipe, so I kind of just looked around and saw what I liked and then just kind of followed the recipe that way. But they're pretty easy to make. It's like pretty simple ingredients and simple steps. So yeah, I love a good Philly cheesesteak. My boyfriend is actually from Pennsylvania, so I already know what a good cheesesteak tastes like. So we're gonna see if this is equivalent to a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm excited to try. I've actually never tried this before. So we're gonna get right into it I'm gonna show you guys all the ingredients that you're gonna need and let's go All right, so I have all my ingredients right here I have the most important thing which is the steak you can actually get this pre-shaved pre-sliced So that's what that is. I got some Coblum cheese I don't have any seasoning salt, but I'm just gonna use Old Bay. And then you can actually use whatever seasoning you want, but this is the seasoning that I'm gonna be using. Um, and then I have some garlic salt. I have one egg. I have a green pepper, yellow onion, and then these are the egg roll wraps. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up the vegetables, and then once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and put the steak in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up my green pepper. I don't know how much I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna use so this is probably all I will use. I'm just gonna rinse it off. All right, so I'm gonna just gonna cut these up. I honestly was kind of iffy about using green peppers because some of the recipes I followed, some of them use green peppers and some of them just use just onions and that's it. And I feel like a real Philly cheesesteak, they don't have, there's no green peppers in it. But most of the videos I watch, they use green peppers. So I'm gonna just do that um, and just like add more flavor anyway, so. I think that's good enough. All right, and then now I'm gonna cut up my onion. You can use butter if you want. I'm just gonna use vegetable oil. This pan heats up really quickly. So I'm gonna turn this on right now. I'm gonna put it on like medium heat. And then I have two pans. So this is for the steak. And then I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna go ahead and just put some oil in here. This is for frying the rolls. That was kind of a lot, but honestly, I'm gonna pour some of it out because you really don't need much. The steak is actually gonna create its own like oil. So in the meantime, while that's heating up, I'm gonna use this for the wrap. My pan is heated up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just garlic salt just a little bit because just a little bit because I'm going to season it a little bit more once I add the um, the steak okay. so mix I'm gonna take some a little bit of it out just because I don't want the green peppers to overpower everything all right so I took some of it out I'm 
let that cook down. In the meantime, I have like a little small bowl. I'm gonna crack the egg in it. I'm just gonna prep for these egg roll wraps. I have a cutting board right here. I just put like a little bit of flour. It's not really necessary, but the people that I've watched, they've had like a little bit of flour on there. So I got this going. I'm gonna try to stir this with my left hand. I'm holding my camera with my right hand. But I don't wanna cook it all the way down because I still have the meat to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my meat, season it, and then mix it all together. I'm just gonna wait till I can break it all apart and then I'm gonna add seasoning. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even recording. But what I did, I just added my seasoning and um, now I'm just gonna mix it up. All right, so I just finished cooking the steak. This is what it is looking like right here. So Nolani is up from her nap. So if you hear her, that is her. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the wraps. So I'm gonna show y'all what I've already done so far. So I just have a plate right here so I can put them on once I finish wrapping them. But I have my wraps right here. I doubled it just because the one that I bought, she said that um, it's better that way so that it doesn't like fall apart. So I have two right here, and then I just put some, I just sprinkled some flour on the bottom. But I have this, I have my provolone cheese. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my provolone cheese. You can actually use whatever type of cheese you like, but provolone is like classic. So I'm gonna just put it right here. I'm not gonna do too much. I've seen people do literally like, like the whole, I'm trying to try to take it out like, Two of these for me that's excessive so I'm just gonna do it like that and then I'm gonna grab I'm gonna get a spoon I'm gonna grab some of the steak I'm gonna try to do it with my left hand so you guys can see However much you want. If you only want a little bit, cool. If you, want, if you really want to fill it up, go ahead. All right, so that's good right there. Now this is where the egg mixture comes in. I'm gonna get. I don't have like a little brush or anything, but I'm going to put some of the egg around the corners of the roll just so that it'll stick together. do the bottom like this and then I'm gonna flip it up like that you can grab the left side fold it in grab the other side fold it in can y'all see that and then just So that way, because you have the egg right there, so that way that it will just stick. So I'm gonna go ahead, 
This is my first one, so it's not that perfect. I'll probably do a little bit less steak next time. Okay, got that one. I'm gonna do another one. Get my, another sheet out. Yummy? Is it yummy? She's eating some of the steak. <laughs> All right, so grab some more cheese. keep doing these and yeah we're gonna speed this up for y'all because I know y'all want to see me wrap every single one of these for like 10 to 12 minutes just so that they can be the same temperature all around when I go to fry them. So yeah, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Oh yeah, so Shorty. All right, so let's see. Shorty asked Yo, come on, the oil is hot. Shorty asked me. All right, so it's been about, <laughs> I can't do it while you're watching me. About 12 minutes. I just took it out of the freezer. Here they are. in here these are cooking and I'm gonna turn it over in a little bit you guys are act like you were on a cooking show when you were younger so whenever you were cooking even if it was the simple things like if you're making like French toast or something like that and you guys were just talking walking through the process <laughs> I used to do that when I was younger every single thing I made I would act out as if I was on like a cooking show but I used to watch like the cooking channel all the time there was this one show I remember he was Australian I can't remember the name but he was an Australian guy and he would go into just a random grocery store and he would pick up just like a walk around and just pick up just a random person a lady guy whatever go grocery shopping and then go to their house and cook the meal for them so if she had or he had like a girlfriend boyfriend husband wife whatever he would cook a meal for them in their house I can't remember what show it was line I guess. This is the hardest part of the day trying to figure out what I'm gonna say. Excuse me. Well, I used to always watch that show. Let me turn these over. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna cut one for you guys. I'm excited. I'm gonna wait for these to cool down and then I'm gonna cut it. Now see, on my cheesesteak, I like mayo and ketchup. And the videos that I have seen, they, it's like people will make different types of sauces for it, but uh, I'm just gonna try mayo and ketchup. All right, uh, I'm gonna try it first without it. Let's try it. Philly, like a real Philly cheese it tastes like. Is it equivalent? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> mm -mm. What would you rate it? What would you rate it? I rate it like an eight. Two like this more like deep fried taco type Okay. Eight out of ten. Don't nothing get ten but Philly cheese cakes and uh, New York cheesecake. Mm. But yeah, I'm gonna finish eating these. I'm gonna chill. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching Sham's cooking show. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you guys wanna see more of or let me know what you want me to cook next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.